Welcome back to New York. Irv, Walter Payton may have lost, but what a day he had for Chicago. Unbelievable day. Carried the ball 28 times, gained 161 yards, and also threw some touchdown passes. What two, about that? Two touchdown oh, passes, both of which were critical at the time. Now, here he is going to Willie Galt. This will tie the score at 34. Galt caught three touchdown passes on the game, four overall. Then Irv, New Orleans went ahead, and Payton wasn't finished. <laughs> Here again, Peyton on a run pass. The defense reacts to that, and Wallace says, wait a minute, I'm going to throw again. Then it was Tim Ryan with time in overtime. Four minutes to go. Morton Anderson coming on the field to set up for the field goal. It'll be a 41-yard attempt. They'll spot it at the 31. Merkins holding. Morton Anderson gets it off, and it is good. And that was the first overtime victory in the New Orleans franchise history. 34-31. It was wild all afternoon long. Other finals now. Baltimore and Buffalo. They shoot it out. Perhaps the Bills are for real under Kay Stevenson. 28-23. But the Colts did score a touchdown against that Bill defense. And the defending Super Bowl champion, Washington Redskins, gave 12 points to the Kansas City Chiefs and their new coach, John Makovic, and then came storming back. Nick Lowry with an AFC record 58-yard field goal, and that put the Chiefs ahead by three. Now, Joe Theismann was having all kinds of problems against Makovic's defense. But finally, it was big John Riggins who barreled in in the second half, and that got the Redskins back in control of the football game. And from there, Theismann put up this pass, tip, and Warren has got it for the touchdown, and the Redskins win it. The final again was 27-12. to 12. San Francisco and St. Louis, and yes, the 49ers appear to be back. Certainly, Joe Montana is. On the day, 20 of 32 for 341 yards and three touchdowns, including this one. Freddie Sodom makes it look easy. A 69-yard touchdown pass. The old guy can still run, Brent. And the final again was 42 to 27. Pittsburgh and Houston. Franco Harris had another 100-yard game for the Steelers. That is the 44th of his fabulous career. And now the Oilers have lost 10 games in a row. They have not won a game since the strike ended. Atlanta and Detroit shoot it out. Atlanta wins for the first time in the Motor City, 30-14 to 14 over the Lions. And finally, the Rams and the Packers slug it out before the Packers pull it out, 27-24, against John Robinson, whose Rams made a brilliant second-half comeback. Watch Lynn Dickey. Ninth touchdown pass of the season to John Jefferson. Lofton had four catches, but no touchdowns. Vince Ferragamo then, going to the corner of the end zone. And it was Otis Grant. But then for Bart Starr, he has got a man who can block field goals. His name is Gary Lewis. Gary, how do you do it? That was your fourth. A lot has to do with the uh, with my front defensive line. You know, without them, I'm just average. If they didn't give me that um, extra one or two yards as far as penetration, then uh, my job would only be average. That saved the game. Then with 33 seconds to go, Eric Dickerson coughed it up. The Packers recovered. They ran the clock down to one second, and Jan Stenerud came on and hit this 27-yard field goal, and the Packers have pulled it out against the Rams 27-24. to Now, of course, there are several games that are still working. The Philadelphia Eagles, they lead the Denver Broncos in the second quarter. 7-0 is the score there. John Elway the starter, but as you can see, no touchdowns yet. Chuck Knox apparently has turned the Seahawks around. They lead the San Diego Chargers 17-7. They are in the second quarter there. Minnesota over Tampa Bay 13-6. Tommy Kramer has been knocked out of the game. Steve Dills is quarterbacking the Vikings. Tommy will not return because of an injured knee. Obviously, it will be x-rayed. In the game you're enjoying, the Dallas Cowboys have taken a 14-3 lead over the New York Giants. And Irv and I will continue after these messages. Beating the New York Jets by 10 points. Irv, I just can't believe it. It's hard for all of us to believe because the Jets have a solid football team and now they're down uh, one and two. Well, here's one of the reasons why. Tony Collins exploded for 210 yards and three touchdowns. He scored on runs of 38, 6, and 23, and they were high-fiving from the beginning to the end up there in Foxborough this afternoon. Now, with time running out in the first half, Richard Todd pulled the Jets to within three. Missed the extra point. Now Pat Leahy is injured. They've got a kicking problem, so Joe Walton has his work cut out now. But the big man again was Tony Collins. Here he is on the draw, and the Patriots hand the Jets their second straight defeat. And, of course, don't forget that next week, one of our key doubleheader games here at 4 o'clock Eastern.